let me play that back. What? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a really easy Halloween makeup tutorial on this skull inspired look. It's really just messy and crazy and just super easy. Um, the main focus is this glitter eye here. It's just something different. Um, it's, you know, like here it's like streaky, messy. This is like my creativism. Creativism, is that the word? This is my creativity. I like things to be messy, especially around Halloween. I don't really like the precise looks. The like, you know, and the pretty, pretty um, point looks like I do that all the time. Like Halloween, I just like it to be messy, grungy and like spooky. And so everybody's been doing skull tutorials. This is my spin on it. I don't know if you guys really don't think it's all that crazy, but I like it. It's easy, something you can whip up. And if you like makeup gets smudged, it doesn't matter because it's already smudged. And see, like, that's what I like, like. I could just go to the club and like get shit faced and not have to worry about my makeup because it looks like so if you guys would like to see how to get this really easy skull look then just keep watching thanks guys get this look started I'm gonna go in with a pointy brush and I'm gonna be taking my elf black cream eyeliner you can use black face paint if you have that but I didn't have that so I just went ahead and used my elf gel liner <clears throat> excuse me and I'm just going to draw a circle around one eye and fill it in with the black liner. I only wanted one eye to be like blacked out considering that this isn't a sugar skull look. This is just like a skull look in general. So I only wanted to do one eye completely blacked out and leave one eye kind of nice. And then I went over it with some purple glitter. And this purple glitter is from Itte Cosmetics. I've talked about their glitter before. It's safe to use around the eye because it's formulated for the eyes. So I will have a link below to where you can purchase their glitter set. They have like sets of like 12 or more. Just go check them out. So I put purple all over the black. And now I'm kind of just mapping out the mouth area, how I want this to look. And I kind of just wanted to make it as easy as possible because easy is my like thing, especially like for Halloween. If you're in a hurry, this is perfect. Like after work and you want to go out, you could just throw this on your face and go and you're festive and it doesn't take much time. So mapping it out and then also blending it out, which is also very important with these kind of looks or any look in general. And I'm taking some of uh, NYX's White Jumbo Liner in Milk, and I'm just kind of spreading it across and then blending it with the black shade so we kind of get a gradient effect. And then again, going in with my pencil, I'm going to draw a line and then draw lines over it for the mouth area, kind of like a stitch effect and doing the same thing to the other side. And then as far as the eyes are, the black eye. I'm just going around it with NYX's white liquid liner, just kind of drawing these petals. No rhyme or reason, and it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm taking NYX's liquid lipstick, and I forget what this is in, but it's obviously blue. I'll have it listed below for you guys, but I really wanted the lip to really be bold and stick out. And then now I'm just going over uh, my lines again and smudging it out because I really want this to be super messy and I don't want this to be like a really nice look I want it to be messy and then now I'm just mapping out the area for the nose I wish I would have done a point instead of rounding it at the tip I think it would have been a lot cooler, but nonetheless I rounded it so I'm gonna fill it in with the black again and then I'm drawing a line straight up right here kind of just adding a little bit of a character to it, uh, adding my own creativity to it, and I will be drawing other lines as you can see I already did. And then I'm putting It's A Cosmetics Loose Glitter on again on my nose, but this was actually supposed to be orange, but for some reason it kind of looks green, but I like how it turned out regardless. Green is still cool for Halloween, but I thought it was gonna be orange. So I switched my wigs to something silver. I thought silver would go a lot better for this look. And then just doing a little bit more blending and once that's done, the look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this really easy Halloween look. And let me know if you guys are going to recreate it for Halloween. And yeah, until next time, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.